Ladies and gentlemen, in his State of the Planet address last month, the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said that humanity has been at war with nature and that the time has come for us to make peace. No doubt the peace process will be long, but take heart, for we have the great opportunity of the UNFCCC COP in Glasgow this November to embed the process. From ancient times, our philosophers have taught us that everything is connected. Here in the middle of this pernicious pandemic, the lesson is brought home to all. A profound element of connectivity in our world is the hydrological cycle, the continuity through which water moves from land and ocean surfaces to the atmosphere and back in the form of precipitation. One of our great challenges today is combating the alarming levels of pollution that are getting into that cycle. In the UN Sustainable Development Agenda, there are two targets specifically addressing this challenge. SDG 6 for, calls for us to improve water quality by reducing pollution, minimizing the release of hazardous chemicals, eliminating dumping and improving sanitation. Meanwhile, SDG 14 requires us by 2025 to prevent and significantly reduce marine pollution of all kinds, particularly from land-based activities, including debris and nutrient pollution. Is this work an urgent priority for humanity at this time? Yes. There can be no healthy planet without a healthy ocean, and the ocean's health is palpably in decline. So we have work to do. It's time for the polluter pays principle to kick in. It's time for circular economies to become the norm. It's time for a global treaty to tackle plastic pollution. In this work, I commend to you the Source to Sea platform. This initiative is strengthening partnerships, growing understanding, building commitment, and taking practical solutions on the ground. The Source to Sea ethos is fundamental to overcoming pollution's challenge. In both the next UN Ocean Conference in Lisbon and the UN Decade of Ocean Science now underway, close collaboration between the freshwater, ocean, and climate communities will ensure climate adaptation measures that lead to healthy land, freshwater, marine ecosystems, thereby making a massive contribution to a climate-resilient future. I thank you.